I grew up playing sports and I actually um, was a professional athlete. So being around athletes playing sports was just how I grew up and it's part of absolutely who I am. It came about during my annual exam. She tested my heart, she heard a murmur. She said, okay, let's just go ahead and get it checked out. I had an echocardiogram and that's when I was diagnosed with a 5.3 aneurysm in my aorta. The aorta is the main artery that comes out of the heart that supplies blood to the rest of the body. The normal size of the aorta is about two and a half centimeters and hers was, up, was about 5.3 centimeters. That's very dangerous. Anytime it's over five, the chances of it rupturing or dissecting, which means tearing, is very high and that's often fatal. Up until that time, I was running, I was working out, I was playing soccer, I was traveling, going to third world countries. I was basically a walking time bomb. In the operating room, we did a more precise test. It's a sonogram of the heart that is very accurate and looks very clearly at the valve. And we found that the valve was working fine, that we did not have to do anything with the valve. Had we had to replace the valve, she would have to have been on uh, blood thinners for her life. And by replacing the aorta, that alone took care of all her problems. When I heard the news, I just thought that was that is the best thing I could have heard because I just knew at that point then it meant that I would have a much better chance of going back to my lifestyle, going back to playing sports, and going back to the life that I wanted to have. She uh, can play soccer, she can lift weights, she can travel, she can do everything. That, that risk, that danger has been removed from her life. I think the most important thing in my life are my children, my family. I have an extremely supportive network of friends and most of those friends are my fellow soccer players. I feel extremely grateful.